and early fastballs. Early in the count. Like that to left field. Akil Badu jumped all over a 93 mile an hour fastball. 17 in 2018. Scope takes strike one. Scope Scope grounds one to third. Smith off to the side. Simeon's turn is in time. Peace. On the corner to make it 0 1. We asked AJ. Made a play. Twice. Twice. Yesterday. And they'd only do it against Grossman, who takes strike two. Right down the line. Taking that knock. I wonder if you'll see Grossman implement that. Instead, he strikes out to end the inning. A quick one for. So giving him a round of applause and facing Jose Barrios. Three. And it's a good one. He's had, he's had the most strikeouts. Via the curveball since the one 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 grounded to third. Smith takes his time and there's one away. Here comes Jamer Candelario. Time for the Bold UV electric player. Simo has an uncanny one for four with a run driven in last night. Late on a fast with 36. Fouls that one away. The shift is on for Toronto against Jamer Candelario. Fouls it away. And reliability. The 0 2. And he strikes out. Look at it. Yeah. Here's Harold Castro with two down. Castro sprays one left center field. Richick is over. Gives way to Gurriel Jr. And he puts it away. And the Tigers go one two. Was that the Pesort brothers? Yeah, I believe that was, yeah. Okay. The Hamtramck? Yeah. From Hamtramck? Yeah. Wow. Boy, we're rooting for him, huh, Mick? That's an eye on that today. All right, good. We'll be making sure you keep us updated. Right, Simo and I were locked in yesterday. <laughs> yeah. But it was fun to watch. It really was, Chef. Chef. And we are. We're pulling for those guys yeah. to bring it home. Willie Castro looks at three pitches. Down he goes. And there. Castro wasn't able to get to. This is the sixth start in a Blue Jays uniform for. Taking on the Tigers. Tigers for the third time this season. Garneau swings and misses. And it's one. And among those going to Minnesota was Austin Martin. Pitches low and away. Which is a little surprising. If you recall, Austin Martin was in the conversation by some, not by the Tigers. But one shortstop slash center fielder might be a good choice. Garneau swings and misses, and it's two and two. But he left. He pitches with a different kind of confidence, I feel like, against the Tigers. Four and two in his career against Detroit with an ERA at almost six. Yeah, I believe so too, Chef. Yeah. It's more about. When he gets, when they're able to get, when they're able to get to him, they really get to him because he's behind in the count. Today, he's been a lot different. You're right. Very sharp early on. Don't miss the Tigers and Twins tomorrow. 2-10 first pitch at Comerica. Hamburger. You like it spicy. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Locked in the last 13, as you see there. And he continues. A base hit to right. The second hit of the day for Detroit. To Trevor Thompson. Trev? A wing station, not a wing stop. I and said spot, not stop. Oh, but it's okay. Okay. <laughs> and yet, when have I had them? Man, you're missing a tree. Well, okay. I'm going to have to get that <laughs> It's a fist fight, fight, to get, fight to get to yeah. those things before they're gone. A fist fight. Did you, hear, but did you hear that? Though? This salt wound. Here you go. You <laughs> haven't had my wings? <laughs> Intercept one or two, Trev. I'll let you know. Badu swings and misses. Behind in the count, one and two. There goes Reyes. 
Phil Cousy just called out a specs to his game, but he said he's not a finished product. There are some things that he needs to work on. They want him to get some more ABs, perhaps 100 September holds for him, but Daz Cameron. Certainly on the radar for A.J. Hinch and these guys, but he wants him to get a little more. He does speak to the versatility of Victor Reyes, and it also speaks to the uh, the fact that throughout the season, Daz Cameron didn't get all the opportunities to get at-bats that A.J. was hoping for due to injury, due to some circumstances as far as uh, personnel. Keeping an eye on spring training next year with Riley Green specifically. Scope follows it back. Yeah, but don't you like the versatility? of uh, Yeah. And how he can help a team win? He's got some speed, runs it, the base as well. But look, you see, we, we all know that. It's definitely getting crowded. Yeah. But like you said, Shep, it's a good problem to have. Uh, these guys are going to push each other over as far as getting more position players that can be productive. Scope, shallow center. Simeon makes the play. One out in the start with, but at least the list is longer. The, definitely the list is longer, Shep. And, uh, I don't know, for Tiger fans, this should be exciting. It's just a fun time to be a Tiger. The 0 1 to Robbie Grossman on the inside corner. Tiger now. And that player said, You better be ready to go to work. <laughs> right. Grossman foul tips it, tips it into the glove of McGuire. Two is a Barrio so far. Now he faces Miguel Cabrera for the second time. Fouls one away. Cabrera grounded to third is the 0 1. Followed it back. The Tigers offense got to get going here against Barrios. Try to get the Tigers back in this ball game. Bichette. Oh, and he airmailed it to first. Throws. Why do you think that is? I just think that you just try to take your time and you know it's an easy out. The runner down the baseline ain't run addition. But these guys work on this and they do it every single day so it just surprises me they play Candelario to pull and he does just that beats the shift into right field for a two out single to right goes that way again it's deep too back goes Gurriel Jr. and he's got it just short of the warning track Hey, Barrios ready for his 48th pitch of the afternoon, and it's chopped foul. Thing working, you really go into grind mode. You just try to foul off some of. The now the one-one to Willie Castro, up high, two and one, and one. I would argue that. Now the two-one, outside. That's just the 11th ball efficient he's been and how tough he's been on Tigers hitters here's the payoff and down goes Willie Castro's Willie Castro on strikes your eyes when you're in that batter's box and when your eyes tell you no it's tough to pull that trigger I mean what do you do good looking curve how do you handle well you're definitely like not ho hoping but you, but you try to get to it Chef. maybe early in the count you try the game goes Depending on the batter. One and two to Dustin two to Dustin Garneau. His first time up. Missed away and it's two and two. First game started for Garneau in the series. The Cardinals. And he had a double and three at bats. Half-hearted swing to strike him out. Two away in the fifth. Been a huge addition for yes. them. Saw him steal third base the other night. Again. Victor Reyes has one of the three. The three Tigers hits. He's a. <laughs> nice two. Nice two. <laughs> yeah. On that pitch, he was. From what you're expecting. Yeah. <laughs> Ball to be a strike out of his hand. Another base hit for Victor Reyes. He'll dig for two. And he's in there with a pop up slide. It's a two out double for Reyes here in the fifth. Takes one high, one and oh. You've Which makes the hands lag back. 
and the hands are kind of going out and around the baseball. The shift is on. They play him to pull. Takes it high. Two and one. Two and one. And then my Eric Hill. Laid off at three and one. It's three and one. It's interesting you use that word lane because A.J. Hinch was you thrown a lot of information at this young man oh, this yeah. year. Here's the three one to him. Swung on and missed. And he's learned a lot. And the amount of input you got to have. Here's the three two to the dude. And the inside cor corner. And he with this franchise. If you want to come here, great. If you don't, then we'll beat you. <laughs> I love it. Yes. I, I think it epitomizes Detroiters and Michiganders. I mean that. I think we have a tendency, whether you think it's right or wrong, it doesn't really matter. Have a tendency to have a chip on our shoulder because not a buddy. Look, Michael had that right there. Freddie, the man, it's the best thing that's happened to Detroit. There's another one on there. They can't continue to Jonathan Scope. Fouls it back. Under the glove of Kevin Smith. Jonathan Scope is aboard to lead off the sixth. Grossman drills one. That's a fair ball. Scope's going to hurry. He's going to get to third. Grossman digs for second. He's in there. First two batters aboard for Detroit in the sixth. But with the infield back. Back to the mound. Oh, Grossman's caught for a moment. Now he dives and he's out. He's a very, very good base runner. The Tigers been a little bit too aggressive. In that situation, Robbie Grossman, you want to see that ball through or see it get past the pitcher before you're able to advance to third base. And that play went wrong. Yeah. What? what? So, good call by Phil Cousy. And he strikes out Candelaria upstairs. Wow. Yeah, but again, that sudden change in sports. How do you handle it? Here's Harold Castro. Takes one up high. 25 runs batted in for Castro. Swung on and missed. Neither team good with runners in scoring position. Castro, right side base hit. Drives in Jonathan Scope with a Tigers first run, and Miguel Cabrera goes first to third. First pitch swinging in a grounder to second. Semyon throws him out, but the Tigers are on the board thanks to Harold Minimum Shifter. And the other way around, it can really deflate yeah. some bit. If the power play clicks, that's something special. But when the penalty kill kills off, let's say, a five on three in hockey, that gives the Reyes and Badu for Detroit. Grounded foul. And Barrios is wasting no time going to that curveball. And it's been moving. One and two to Dustin Garneau. Fouled away. Right now into the seventh. Good take by Garneau. By Garneau to even it up. Ground ball sharply to short to short. Bichette takes care of it and throws out Garneau. Victor Reyes has two of the six Tigers hits. The only Tiger with a multi-hit game today. Seven multi-hit games for how he prepares for a game, even though he's not going to be an everyday player. A lot of times, a lot of times when you create a good routine, waits on another 0-2, and he strikes out for out number two in the seventh. 
Let's update Ram Pick the Stick. Dan Pick right now. I know Dan's doing radio, so we can understand that. When Mickey and Trevor. <laughs> what am I going to say? <laughs> you Congrats took to the rest of you. You took John. Can we confirm that? That's why I couldn't talk before oh, now. I got you. But do down the left field, down the left field line foul. It's going to be tough to catch Kibby, though. The 97th pitch of his outing is on its way. And Badu went too far. A 1-2-3 inning for Barrios.